Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's so good to have you back. I am so excited to have all of you guys here. Welcome to another pick a card. I am so happy you guys to be here with you. Um, I decided to do a pick a card today. I was definitely feeling a little tender, but I'm like, this is a perfect, perfect time to do a messages from your ancestors. Yes. Yes. Listen, my loves, I would love for you to please join me on my Instagram, okay? I do have testimonials, I have reviews, I have pick a card readings, I also post empowering quotes. I will also be doing more work around the ancestors, so please join me, yes. So, wow, okay, my loves. I just want to go ahead and say I'm so grateful for all of you and I also want to give a big shout out to Rhoda for these two beautiful decks. Seriously, I just finished hugging them, giving them so much love. I'm so grateful for these and more than anything, I am grateful for your love. Okay, I'm really grateful for your love. So gratitude and peace. Um, Tony Williams, thank you so much for your donation. I do appreciate it. Also, everyone else who has been a part of my journey, um, everyone who has, you know, uh, left me an encouraging comment, email, um, anything, you know, surrounding just an uplifting environment. I also would like to say thank you so much for those of you who, um, you know, take the time to share your experiences, I love hearing about your, your life, your story. So please don't forget to drop a comment. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Also, my loves, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium and I do offer mediumship based readings. All that information is priced down below. I am so excited to share that I have access to just a little bit of, of video uh, processing. I'm very grateful for this, you guys. This has been the most challenging out of my environment. So it's like a gift from the heavens. Wow. So yes. I'm going to go ahead and add that. So if you guys would like a video request, I do have that available. And... Yeah, my loves, if you are feeling generous and would like to donate, I do have my cash app below. I have my Indie Deck wish list, I have my um, Amazon wish list, and I have my PayPal. So I also have a new form of payment, which is always preferred, my loves, it's Zelle. So let me know if you guys are interested. In the meantime, let's go ahead and do a little bit of the Heart Chakra clearing, okay? Let's start with a little bit of this. Um, listen, my loves, you do not, you do not have to be here for the clearing if you don't want to. It's optional. Yeah. But I would love to have you here. So specifically, if you are new and you, you know, you're not sure what's going on here, this is the, um, evil eye protector. This clears a lot of the pockets, okay, of negativity for your day. So anything surrounding your mind, your mindset, anything around your, your environment, anything involving our inner world, I want you to make sure you're looking at the colors, Okay, 
okay. I, you know, I really just like this to clear. Essentially, this is just like a, a you know, a form of clearing or a form of cleansing any kind of, you know, evil, wanted or unwanted. Sometimes we're not aware, right? Sometimes we're attracting things and we're not aware. So, wow, yes. I hope you guys are feeling this. Wow, yes, you guys. You know, collectively, through the messages of the ancestors, we're going to find out what messages they have for you, what gifts are in store. But collectively, there is such a monumental shift around. There's something here, you guys, that we are rebuilding. It's like spring, autumn and spring. There's so much in our lives that is being removed. What no longer serves us is being removed. So we can rebuild and start something new. Okay. Especially when it comes to our voice our ancestors, a lot of our ancestors did not have a chance, you guys, for a voice. This is our heart chakra here. I'm going to go a little bit faster, just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and do, let's see what side. Okay, let's do. Okay. giving it a little extra energy for you here to clear your day wherever you may be. Yes. Okay, my loves. Are you ready to choose our decks? Yes, we are. So let's go ahead and get the decks. You guys, I love you. I am so excited. We are moving into Leo season. And I believe, wow, we are in Leo season. So yes. Okay, Leos. I will continue to post our zodiacs, you guys. So thank you so much for being patient. The first pile is the Visionary Path Tarot. The second is the Angel Tarot. The third is the field tarot. So let's take a moment and invoke our ancestors, our angels, our spirit guides, our faith. Okay, I can already feel all this positive energy. Pile one, oh my goodness. Listen, pile one, a lot of you, there's something around, let's get started, there's something around industry here. Your ancestors are working really hard in regards to building something for you, okay? This is around 
the structure of your life right now. I am having a vision of carpentry. There's a form of architecture here. I am seeing a lot of building and a lot of hope, okay? So there is a lot of hope around your life right now, a lot of faith, or they want you to hold space for hope and faith, okay? So they are showing you how they're working in your favor. Listen well and fully. Wow, okay. You guys, this, this energy is so moving, it's so moving, okay? We have listen well and fully. Your ancestors, they're speaking through the trees. They're really acknowledging the growth that you've made throughout the years. A lot of your ancestors, my loves, they are made, it's like they're made out of steel. They're so strong, okay? They really believe in strength. Right now, I am having a vision of structure here and building. They are building something for you. I do feel for a lot of you, if you have lost something or you have lost a foundation, okay? They are showing you, we will rise again. They're showing you, okay? We will rise again. I am having a vision here of the earth blossoming after a storm. So some of you guys definitely have gone through something incredibly emotional, something that has drained you, something that has been really depleting your root chakra, specifically around the earth, Gaia, your feet, your movement. This is perfect. Like, listen, you guys, come on. Ground thyself. The earth. Listen fully, you guys. There's something really shifting for you behind the scenes, okay? There's something really beautiful here behind all the challenges that you're facing. I do feel they are handing you a key. This is a gift. It's a beautiful gold key, you guys. This is a gift. And the reason why this is a gift, this is sanctuary, Right now, there's something around your grandfather's lineage that they want you to know. They really, really, really want you to focus on creating stability in your life. Okay? So what's going on with the ancestors here for pile one? We have your love has aged. There's pockets of, it's almost like um, there's a song that I heard you guys a while ago, something about holes in my sweater or making a home out of people, okay? There's something around this that has been really painful. You're really learning how to repair those those holes in your, you know, your, your, you know, your life, the areas in your life that are vacant, that are void. Okay. I do feel there's an energy here of choice. Your ancestors are holding space for you, my loves, while you grieve, okay? So there is a grieving process here. I am having a vision of the number 999 here, symbolic of Jupiter spiritual travel, abundance, higher learning, okay? You guys are, excuse me, your ancestors are really showing you the way to the top of the mountain, the peak, you guys. You are learning so much. So let's see, what else? Express more magic. Wow. They want you to please repair any inner voice that is um, threatening your peace, okay? So if you guys have been feeling overwhelmingly, um, you know, 
negative or you've been in a space of negativity they want you to manifest through words your element is the earth right now but it's not just about the earth it's also about um, the air you guys it's also about manifestation through the mind manifestation through the spoken word manifestation through creativity of thought okay let's do one more I'm also getting a lot of prayer I really want you guys to get into prayer if you guys are into it okay we do have goddess Freya so this is a time of self-empowerment all-encompassing you know you know fruition through self-care what I mean through you know fruition of self-care this is about abundantly taking it upon yourself to just love every part of your journey you guys there's something about holes around home or a sense of feeling um, kind of left out in the cold or feeling as if there's something about making a home out of people and it has not been working out your ancestors want you to know okay this is not going to go in vain but right now they want you to really focus on the work they want you to focus on the building, on the establishing, because a lot of you guys, you have spider webs here distracting you, or, you know, there's an energy here. They want you to know, specifically, there's a Sagittarius here creating webs for you, and they know it, and if it's not a Sag, it's a Leo or an Aries. Listen, you guys, spiders are not bad, but the only thing here... When it comes to weaving webs, it could either, excuse me, it could either be bad or good. It could, you know, it, it, for me in this situation, your ancestors, my loves, they are not fond of spiders. So whichever lineage this is, they are not fond of spiders at all. For them, it is symbolic of traps. Okay, or symbolic of weaving deception okay so they want you to know you have to really focus they want it's like a lot of your ancestors are grabbing your hands okay I want you guys to really massage this part I want you guys to really massage this part of your hands the palm so do a little bit of this before bed they want you to focus on freeing yourself from the stored energy here in in your hands something about this is really causing a lot of problems in regards to movement in your life this is because you know your hands are symbolic of what we build and how much we're holding on to it or how fast we release it and your manifestation abilities come from your hands so they want they're really listen my loves your ancestors they're so powerful and abundant and they want to remind you as well that what you hold doesn't have to be permanent but you have to make the best out of what's what's there okay i do see a lot of um there's a lot of resources that are yellow the aura color of yellow here this is symbolic of empowerment okay personal power confidence and esteem okay so let's keep going shall we messages from your ancestors Let's get the first card here. I do want to get an Archangel card, you guys. I love working with the angels here. Yes. So, listen. We do have Knight of Pentacles. Yes, this is exactly what I was feeling. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. They're gifting you a pentacle. They're gifting you a gift right now. And this is all about the earth. This is what I was feeling. This is all about the earth element and what you do with your fruition. 
they're giving you it's like the grit right it's like really working really working towards your future and all I see is soil the potential the long term um, you know possibilities of your resources they want you to know that right now hard work pays off they want you to get to it there's something about listen your ancestors are really hard working and they don't like excuses I'm getting an <laughs> there's an ancestor here who is saying listen if you want the wealth you want the prosperity you have to look at the pentacle like this is all you see you have to look at the work that's in front of you as all you see you have to really focus okay so messages from your ancestors wow something about wine you guys please honor your ancestors with a glass of wine there's a veneration here or if you don't drink just leave it out for them or take one sip for them in honor of your ancestors so we have the six of swords your ancestors are saying listen this is all about movement right now Okay, this is all about movement. Six of Swords. Some of you guys most recently lost a parent, so I'm so sorry, okay? And if this is not a parent, this is definitely um, a grandparent or someone that's very important to you, okay? This is someone that is very close to your heart, and your ancestors are saying they are now crossing over to the other side. So what they want from you, your life is going to change. Five days, five weeks, five months, there is a major shift here, my loves. There is a major, major shift here. And the reason is that a lot of this is getting you to calmer water. Something about your life, my loves, I'm holding space. Oh my gosh. I am holding space for you because this has not been easy. Making homes out of, you know, holes in your sweater. There's a song that really made me cry. It was so beautiful, you know, because it's a part of, uh, it's a part of our story everywhere we are. It doesn't, you know, we all have moments in our life where we are seeking for comfort or we're seeking structure and stability. And this is where you are. They want you to focus. One of your ancestors here, very, they're very firm. They were definitely someone who, they created um, like a, a line working, I don't know, what do you call it back then, you guys? A factory, thank you. A factory. It's like they established something very, very, very important from years ago, decades ago, and they're very proud of themselves, so they want you to get to it. So let's see messages from your ancestors. It took a lot of sacrifice, but they know you can do it. So let's see. Full moon, the full moon, dance and spirit. Something about the dance and spirit, okay? Listen, we have the six of wands here. Okay. Your ancestors are handing you a rope and they want you to pull on this rope. This rope is meant to get you to safety, but what they want from you, they're very hard on you, but they love you. What they want from you right now is victory and success. They want you to feel really good about reaching the sun. They want you to feel really good about being in your body, being in your spirit, being in your soul. They want you to succeed and stretch your wings and fly 
a lot of your ancestors do not come from fame or they don't really come from, you know, a place of, they're not really coming from a place of status, but you're very symbolic of that. You are the chosen one to uplift, to uplift your ancestors. So they want, it's like they're, you know, they're building, look, look at this, you guys, this is a sacred temple, sacred stones. They're building this in your honor to push you up to the sky. What else? Messages from your ancestors, pile one. Wow. Yes. They want you to know that everything they do, they do it for you. They do it for you. So, let's go ahead and see. Pile one. I'm right in front of a cross right now and I just feel so at peace. I really feel that you guys have ancestors that are religious. They're Christian or they really believe in God. Okay. I feel this connection here. They want you to know that your ancestors they're being really hard on you right now because they love you but there's something in your life that they are not in alignment with something about your grace are you guys minimizing yourselves are you guys you know lowering your expectation in your life are you guys you know they don't like that you know these these ancestors they are incredibly powerful and they want you to feel confident whether you are working you know, it doesn't matter where you work, whatever line of work you're in, whatever you're doing, work and career is, a, it's like it defined them, okay? And it's also defining you. So they want to make sure you feel good and you feel confident about who you are. Wow. So I do feel I am getting a lot of the triangle here. So divine mother, father, and spirit. Okay, I am getting trying. Listen, your ancestors, they are really powerful. We have Archangel Uriel, Divine Wisdom. They, it's funny, they want you to really align yourself with your creativity, you guys. Some of you guys are not, it's like you're choosing a different path, you know. They're, they're really handing you the tools to get, you know, to really get in there and start really getting through the soil and plant your own garden my loves your ancestors they want you to be independent and they feel as if right now you need some encouragement that you can do it this is a reminder that you have some sort of success coming up there's a transition for you across the water there's success there's fortune there's wealth and spirit and abundance okay so what's happening here I love it. Okay, your ancestors speak. What do they say? The chariot and the lovers. This is big. Oh, my gosh. I'll tell you why. They want you to know that moving forward, there is going to be movement. You guys have a lot of travel in the books here, okay? So I am getting for a lot of you, there's going to be travel in August through uh, October. I am having a vision of a bridge here, okay? You're crossing a bridge. I am having a vision of the color red as well. So the focus is going to be on the root chakra. There's a lot of I am. I am becoming. I belong. I am, you know, I am... I am here, I am home, right? So really affirming who you are is going to be very important. Okay? So we have the lovers here. This is about choosing a path of your higher self. You guys, this is big. 
They love you. They're gifting you earrings, jade earrings, specifically for peace. They're handing you like a little pouch of herbs. And they're pushing you through the sea. Listen. A lot of you guys are ever overcoming um, adversity through your father's lineage, and they know it's not easy. That they really, really, really want you to feel proud of yourself. They really want you to feel proud of yourself and how far you've come. The lover is, is an ascension process. It's your higher self. It's divine wisdom. Some of you guys have two paths in career. Your soul path between arts, creativity, and something that's a little, a little more linear. I really want you guys to choose what feels as if it moves your soul. Otherwise, it's almost going to feel like you are in a prison. You're, you're feeling in a shackle so make sure that what you do in life your ancestors are saying choose your heart and make sure that you are healing your father's lineage on your way there yeah wow okay let's see what gifts one more and that's it what gifts are coming towards your ancestors listen I mean um, what gifts are being gifted by your ancestors Some of you guys actually have some kind of fame or recognition. This is big. This is going to be really big. You're, you know, this could be any magnitude, you guys. It doesn't have to necessarily be. It doesn't have to be anything small. But the reality is, you guys have fame in the books. Whether it's recognition at work, you have recognition through your network, through your friends, through your family, you're being recognized for something, so they want you to choose the path that feels closest to your heart. Otherwise, you're going to close your heart for a lifetime. They don't want this. A lot of your ancestors are hardworking, and they did not reach the higher pentacle, you know, the, the pentacle. They did not reach their higher, you know, their higher selves in previous incarnations. So it's incredibly challenging, yeah? Sorry, you guys. So the Ace of Cups is all about gifting you something new here. Your ancestors have been working really hard for something new. They want you to succeed. They're protecting you with the Ankh. They're protecting your psychic vision. Some of you guys are clairvoyants, your psychics. This is going to be big. You guys have enormous power here of growth. They're protecting your destiny more than anything. For others, the world here, they want you to know that you're really going to influence the world one way or another. They're really going to influence you. There's a lot of orange um, auras here. Like I'm getting a lot of orange color, colored orbs here okay so this is about really enhancing your creativity a lot of you guys are very creative so please follow your intuition follow your emotions you guys you're going to get all the support from people in your environment so trust your path wow also, please wear uh, jade and use orange calcite to help you through your journey. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going here. Pile two. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay. 
ready, pile two. Let's do it. Messages from your ancestors. Let's see. Pile two. Okay, so we have light. Listen, a lot of you guys have a very powerful in influence to Russia. I'm getting Russian roots here. I'm also getting um, the poppy, okay? So you guys have ancestors that are very, very powerful. They come from war. Two lips here, very symbolic of death and rebirth. Egypt, protecting the pharaohs, protecting the tomb. They want you to focus on finding your inner light. Some of you have been at war with yourselves, my love. Some of you guys are at war with your head, meaning your mindset, okay, your heart. There's something in your environment that's creating war and disruption. This is about, it can also be a spiritual war. So there's something around, you know, spirituality. Some of you guys are losing faith and you're finding your faith again. Okay. But your ancestors, they want to remind you. Right now, they're charging your head forward and they're handing you a spear. A lot of your ancestors, my loves, we do have follow the leader. Okay. They want you to remember your power more than anything right now. There's something around. They're having to really create. A lot of your ancestors are, are establishing their territory around your environment right now. These are, you know, I am getting ancestors, descendants, Russia. I'm getting a lot of energy around Rome. Okay, there's, there's a lot of we will make peace when there is peace, but we will make war when there is war. Okay. Let's see what's going on. A lot of you guys, your ancestors, they want you to know they're gifting you specifically a necklace as victory. So your ancestors do not believe in gifting after this war. They believe in gifting you before. This is tradition. A lot of you guys are in an environment right now. They are not happy about this environment. People are trespassing on your energy. People are invading your space. I am getting a lot of um, ego, a lot of deception, or people who are not respecting you. Your ancestors are not happy about this. Um, for some of you, I do feel this is a roommate situation. I'm getting people in your environment. This could also be um, Spain, you guys, if you guys have ancestors that are Spaniard. They have pierced the earth with their sword. They're not happy about this. They are establishing a very firm, very firm truth around this situation. The people you're around right now, what they, you know, what they're really saying is, we will have victory before this is over. So we are crowning you before then. 
Listen, a lot of you guys, there's something around your past life karma and other people. It, it's almost like you provoke people without even trying. So your ancestors are loving you and they're carrying you and they're saying, listen, we are going to carry you through this. You do not have to lift a finger. Please don't worry. Do not worry about the things that you cannot control. I am getting late nights, you guys. You guys are stressed out. Maybe money is an issue, finances. You guys are worried about your environment, your safety, okay? Um, I do feel there's constant stress here. But here is the reminder. You are a leader. I want you to work with Jasper. This is a part of your life path, okay? We have Archangel Dophiel, Illumination, Creativity, and Authenticity. Yeah. Love it. Love it. A lot of you guys are a poet. I am getting a Pisces energy. Your ancestors are really weaving beautiful, it's like beautiful pockets for you to catch the abundance. This is about catching abundance at every corner. This sword is the beginning of, they're not gonna back down, you guys. Your ancestors are tired. They're tired of what has been happening in your environment. Some of you guys are dealing with uh, an Aquarius, someone who's a little bit on the selfish side. Your ancestors are not saying it that kindly. They're saying they are very selfish and they don't like it. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra. They're inconsiderate of you. They don't like this. And this is the thing about our ancestors, you guys. They start wars. Our angels are the ones guiding our ancestors. But the thing is, when someone is getting in between your destiny or your peace, and you have decades worth of pain, and people purposely throw rocks at you, this is a problem. The ancestors do not do well with this. So around these pockets, they are putting wealth in your, in your, um, so beautiful, they crochet. They're crocheting, they're putting pockets of gold here, and you know, I should say they're putting uh, nuggets of gold in your pockets. So this is symbolic, they want you to feel confident in your environment that nothing will happen to you. This is going to be your rise. The more people throw rocks at you, they try to belittle you, the more you will be on the rise. This is just how it's going to be. And you are protected. What's happening in your life right now? You know, Jophiel is a beautiful angel of beauty and magic. Your ancestors, they are coming from shape-shifting energy as well, your descendants. They want you to use magic right now. Maybe some of you guys, it doesn't have to be black magic, but it could be a simple prayer. It could be anything, but they want you to manifest. They want you to trust that you can do what you have to do, that you can move the energy if you choose. Okay. So some of you guys, you can create beauty around you by letting go. Within your mother's lineage, there's a need to control the environment. There's a need to constantly maybe, it's almost like there's an avoidance of yourself. They want you to really confront your shadow side, okay? You really do. We have emotional flexibility and give it time. So, if you are living with people, I am getting a lot of, um, a group of people kind of turning their backs on you. I am having a vision of this. This is painful. And it's painful because a lot of you don't understand why or where it's coming from. They want you to understand that sometimes we have to release the outcome. I am getting, you know, some of you have been trying or you're making an effort. 
there's still a lot of, I don't want to try. So your ancestors are saying, we, we have pierced. Wow, I'm triggering somebody. We have pierced the earth. By the cemetery, you guys. Could be that too. We have Archangel Shamuel, Gateway of Direction. Wow. Yes. This is so beautiful. Shamuel is healing your grief. Okay. Your ancestors are saying, allow the angels to heal you, my loves, because you have worked so hard. They're guiding you into healing your heart. Yeah? Okay, let's get to the cards really quick. I really feel you guys are being gifted something big here. There's something really big for you here. If you have been moving forward and you feel as if there's constant traps or there's, you know, constant things that have been, you know, blocking your vision or blocking your path, this is going to change, okay? Give me a second, you guys. I love you. I do feel a lot of you guys are being gifted something major, very major here. And it's going to come easy. It's going to come so easy. So let's see here. Messages from your ancestors. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay, listen. They want you to move forward into calmer waters. Something about your heart. Really heal your heart. Okay? Allow yourself to heal any grief. This is going to be big. Please work with Rose Quartz. They want to move you forward, but you keep revisiting the past, my loves, okay? Please let go. Let go. I'm having a vision of sand, but there's gold specks in the sand. So they want you to know that every path that you are walking on, you are touching gold. So you have to trust yourself the star your ancestors are saying listen have faith okay have faith in your dreams some of you guys are worried they're really worried that you're you know maybe you're letting people lower your vibration okay have faith in the movement forward this is about connecting with your spirit guides as well Yeah. Okay, messages from your ancestors. I am having a vision of a lot of rubies here as well, my loves. Yeah. We have the nine of swords in reverse. Okay. Listen. They really love you. They love you. But they want you to come out of stress. Some of you guys really, I, I do feel you need support. But there's a need to, you know, it's almost like you're trying. You're trying for love. You're really trying. Okay? And it's okay. But the people around you maybe don't have the capacity. Your ancestors are saying you have to leave it up to prayer. Pray for these people, you guys. Compassion. A lot of people are, are down and out and you're the only one standing here. Yeah, you're maybe a little more observant as well. So, messages from your ancestors. Let's see. We have balance. Archangel Sadkiel. temperance okay we have temperance here 
there's something in your life that requires patience and this is surrounding your movement forward okay something in your life here is going to require a level of just grounding and waiting okay but in the process of waiting they want you to mix okay they want you to mix these energies opposing energies and create peace find balance mind body spirit yeah this is going to be a huge life experience you guys after this you'll understand yourself a lot more and you'll also understand people in your environment i do feel you start you'll start a new network okay the chariot you'll start a new network of friendships okay so please do not worry I want you guys to feel very confident. On the 4th, you're going to have news. You're charging ahead fast. You're going to move quickly. I'm also feeling there's an energy here around your goals. Some of you guys, you are, I'm getting um, Denver. You're moving. You're crossing the water. And you're going to take just a little bit with you. Something starting with a D, maybe Dallas. You're charging ahead, you guys. Some of you are moving. You're, you're done. You're saying, I have to free myself. So messages from your ancestors. Oh, my gosh, you guys. The water. Please spend time by the water. Peace. Bring peace, you guys, please. This has been a tough time. Whatever you do right now in your life, bring a sense of solitude. Okay, bring a sense of solitude and remain still. Remain in your... Not everyone needs to know about your plans because this is what's happening right now. The more people know, the more they want to sabotage you. So this book of Torah, keep it close. The high priestess is also about developing a daily practice of ritual. Yeah? Okay. So what is the outcome? We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Your ancestors, they know... They really know you need friends. Like, you feel more complete when you have a network of people, okay? You feel a lot more help. It's almost like there's a little bit of some codependency here. You're growing out of it, okay? It's like you're moving through the temples of Egypt, and it's so beautiful, you guys. But they want you to be patient with yourself, be kind, and please learn learn how to bring peace to yourself okay learn how to also feel more fulfilled with yourself because right now there's a dependence on joy outside of you Some of you guys have an offer here, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, your ancestors are saying, create a sacred space for a friendship with this person. They have a lot to teach you. They have a lot to teach you, but you have to create a sacred space, yeah? I love it. Okay, let's move on. You guys, the fourth, there is going to be something incredibly beautiful here. Very beautiful for you. So please be patient. Okay. So let's see what's going on with you. Pile three messages from your ancestors. Okay. 
Listen, pile three, here we have angelic communication. Some of you guys are really working through the father aspects of your journey. So we have a lot of the masculine that you're working through. This is beautiful. Your drive. There's a lot of drive here. The blues are all about communication, speaking your truth, okay, finding your faith, okay? So I want you guys to really look at your challenges. Your ancestors are asking you, look at your challenges from a place of hope. They're also showing me towers with crowns. Very symbolic of empire building here. They're building inner wisdom and foresight. They are building for you. A lot of you guys come from royalty. And they also have gifted you this beautiful energy around your intuition, your psychic foresight. They want you to start looking at every opportunity around you as a gift. Every opportunity around you is a gift. Okay? So I am getting a lot of fire as well. They want you to... Wow you guys, please listen. This hurts. This hurts because I do feel there's been a lot of burning down all of your creativity, your ideas. Your ancestors have a very, very powerful lineage, but there's something around burning down everything they've established in their life to rebuild. So there's always a rise here, my loves. We have passion and sex here, burgundy. We have this beautiful, beautiful root chakra. They are encouraging an identity because for a lot of you, they were used to people burning down their villages. So your ancestors, they want you to feel more firm in who you are for them. They are also, we do have develop your destiny in reverse. They really want you to see that your empire can be crowned, but this is about sacrifice. Some of you guys may feel lost right now or there's an energy of feeling a bit um, there's an energy here of feeling really lost in terms of your life purpose. This is about your life purpose. They want you to know, trust yourself. Your ancestors are indigenous that are coming through and they want you to trust the earth. They want you to touch the earth. They want you to connect to all the elements. We have angelic light body. Okay, so listen, my loves. You guys, the fire element is present. Reconnect. Okay, you cannot let your spirit die. Okay, this is about your spirit. This is about people or maybe you've allowed your love life, your lovers, your relationships to kind of dim your light. So you have to reconnect with your light body here. Yeah. Listen, they are encouraging crossing the river, crossing the path. They want you to really cross over to calmer waters. So we have orange. This is all about, look at this power, you guys. Look at this. Talk about 
powerful. There's something across. Some of you guys listen. Your ancestors are saying, remove yourself from your identity of your family and reconnect with your spirit elsewhere. Especially if you are, you know, closer to your 30s, if you're reaching your 30, you guys, really start planning, you know, something new. Your ancestors are big on your development of self, mind, body, spirit, okay? Wow, you guys, this is also music and dance right now. They know something's tough right now. And it does involve burning down the environment to rebuild, to reestablish. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else. What is the central theme here? We have the three of pentacles. So look at your career path with hope and faith. Okay, they want you to look up and they want you to have faith. Excuse me, you guys. <coughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they want you to have faith. They also want you to start building and networking with other people. Okay, they really... They want you to start establishing work with others, you guys. There's a strong sense of collaboration here. There's new... Wow. You guys, there's a new career path across the river. They really want you to know there's something fantastic here, but really keep your hopes up. Keep your light. Someone may have just recently burned something of yours, but right now you're being gifted a new opportunity, okay? Okay, so you have the Prince of Swords. So listen... Wow. Collect information. Your ancestors are saying because there's been so much of burning things down in your environment, they want you to feel determined about what you're establishing um, in the winter. But you have to collect information. You have to be able to collect a lot of the energy here. <clears throat> So let's see. This is also about seeking your truth. Seek your truth and make sure that there are no deceptive offers here. We have Queen of Wands. Okay. Look how beautiful you look. Your ancestors are saying, listen, we are holding you up. You are the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Okay, you are in your power. In full glory. Okay. Some of you guys are going to own your own business this winter. They want you to hold space for your power. They also want you to do ritual work around the fire. Okay? Let's see what else. The full moon. Please, 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 please. Oh, my gosh. Do your ritual work, you guys. Your ancestors are really, really pressing for this. Balance, create balance. What is important to you and what isn't? Your ancestors are saying, please do not juggle too much. Learn what is important. If it's not making you feel like this, then it's not important. 
If it's not holding space for a transformation for you, it's not important, okay? One more. Okay, we have reliability. A lot of you guys are going to move into a new training program by the December in terms of school education. So a fresh start business. Okay, and education. I love it. So what is your advice? They want to tell you that they're establishing. You guys are really planting. They're working really hard for you. Gifting is your ancestor's way. So please be kind with your heart and be kind in spirit. Okay, I love you. Bye.